You know those fishing videos where the host stands there all prim and proper and nice and neat and well dressed and never gets dirty? Well, this will not be one of those videos. Most folks don't run 50 to 60 miles off the mid-Atlantic coast to bottom fish, but those that do will discover some of the best blue line tile fish and sea bass fishing anywhere in the world, plus a few surprises. We jumped aboard the My Baits Dragon with Captain Tommy to see how it's done. This is one of the two basic methods. This is the jig method. You can see the jig has a couple hooks, you want a couple baits because you got to drop way down there. And if you lose your bait real fast, if you only have one on there, you don't have to reel right back up. It's a nice heavy jig. This one here is about six ounces. It'll sink real fast and get down to the bottom. We're about 300 feet of water, so that counts. Here's your other basic method, is just to use a simple bottom rig. We're just baiting up with chunks of squid. Nothing unusual or spectacular about it. One other important thing to note is we are using these high speed reels to help you get that line up a little bit faster. Tile fish live right on the bottom, so it's important to use a braid main line both so you can feel the bottom and so you can feel the bites. Speaking of the bottom, the only other thing you know to target these fish is where there's good hard rocky bottom in 250 to 350 feet of water. Blue lines aren't commonly found on wrecks, though the sea bass are, so to locate a good likely area with both species, keep an eye on your fish finder and have it zoomed in tight on the bottom. Fortunately, there were plenty of bites when we filmed this video, but unfortunately all the blue lines were relatively small. We certainly didn't find the 10 pounders we were hoping for. On the bright side, we did encounter some very nice sea bass, and interestingly, the big ones did seem to prefer the jigs. At one point, we started using larger baits to try and avoid catching throwback sea bass, which often don't survive after being cranked up from these depths. When you do catch small fish, it's a good idea to simply move and change locations. On one of these moves, we did spot a float from a commercial bass pot, and we decided to shift gears. It's a very simple method of fishing. You take your chunk of squid, chunks of fish work too, just thread it on the hook. We're gonna throw some chunks into the water as we approach the ball, and flip this right in with them. But we had the same problem. Most of the fish were quite small. We did get one gaffer, and fortunately had plenty of action before the sun got low on the horizon and it was time to head for home. No, this type of offshore fishing isn't as exciting as hooking into marlin and tuna, but when the bite for species like those is slow, offshore bottom fishing is an awful lot of fun, and it's a reliable way to fill that fish box.